Morning friends, welcome back. Today I've got another rendition of what's in my kindergartner's lunchbox. This is the third video that I've done like this. If you'd like to see more, check out the playlist. I will link it down below or up top. If you are new around here, I hope that you enjoy what you see and that you consider hitting the subscribe button to be a part of the family. We would love to have you. But without further ado, let's jump right into the lunches. All right, here is Jackson's lunch for tomorrow. He's got his little bottle of water. Once we're done with these, I'm gonna try and get a smaller drinking cup for his lunchbox. He has one that keeps it in his backpack for the classroom, but they can't take that one to the lunchroom. So kind of silly, but we need to get a smaller one that will fit in his lunchbox. And then for his main portion, he's got some Ritz crackers with pepperoni and cubed Colby Jack cheese. He picked some peanut butter crackers to go along with it because he loves those. And then for a little bit of a sweet treat, he picked a chocolate chip granola bar and I just cut up a few strawberries in here to go along with it. And that is his lunch. So we'll hopefully uh, eat most of that, but we'll see. All right, so let's see what Jackson ate today. Oh, Jackson. He still has most of his pepperoni, most of his cheese. He ate all of his peanut butter crackers, most of his Ritz crackers. What else was in here? He ate his granola bar and his strawberries. So not too bad in the grand scheme of things. All right, friends, here's another rendition of Jackson's lunch. He's got his water. And then in this compartment, I've got a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Pretty simple. This is his sweet. It's one of the Nature's Bakery fig bars and the strawberry. There are two of them in here. They're kind of like a cookie or a fig Newton. They're dairy free, no high fructose corn syrup. And then here I've just got one small mandarin orange, some Halloween mini pretzels that he got from trick or treating and an organic applesauce from Costco. All right, so Jackson um, didn't do the best today. Let's just say that. He ate his sandwich, which is good. He ate one of his fig cookies. Uh, it doesn't look like any of his oranges and he didn't touch his applesauce pouch. He drank about half of his water. So not the best. I'm gonna probably have him eat this cookie now and at least the applesauce, since it's not open, can go back in the fridge or pantry. And as I was cleaning this out, I remembered he had pretzels, which he ate those as well. So I feel slightly better other than the fact that he basically only had carbs and a little bit of protein in the peanut butter. <laughs> All right, so Jackson's lunch for tomorrow is going to be a Go-Gurt over here, and then this is a Milky Way brownie. It's his birthday tomorrow, so this is like his little treat. I'm also taking cookies in for the class, so he'll have more than enough treats. And then over here, I've got a chocolate chip waffle, so he's gonna have some waffle stick dunkers, so to speak, with some syrup and just a little bit of Colby Jack cheese. And then he's going to have his water bottle in class because they're eating in the classroom tomorrow, so I don't have to send him with a separate water. And the aftermath of his lunch today is that he ate everything completely empty, but he also left his syrup open, so this is sticking. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash this. All right, friends, this is Jackson's lunch for today. It's been a while since I packed him a lunch. We've had a lot going on. I was in and out of the hospital, but today is Friday and he's going to take lunch. So he has got kind of like a little Lunchable. We've got some Ritz crackers, cubed Colby Jack cheese, um, sliced up little turkey sausages. And then this right here is just dry cereal. It's these Honeygram O's. So I put a little bit of that in there. And then over on the side, he's got a cookie that we made last night, just a double chocolate chunk cookie and a Go-Gurt. So he just grabbed his bottle of water. I'm gonna pack this up and get them to school because we're supposed to be out the door. All right, so this is typically the point at which I would open your lunchbox after school and say, look guys, look at all the food Jackson ate, huh? Yeah, but I, love, I can't remember any do recording because I left my lunchbox at school. What'd you do that for? I just... Were you so excited because it's Friday and you were just ready to come home to mama? Yes. And you forgot it? Okay, do you remember what you ate out of your lunchbox? Let's see, you had crackers. Did you eat those? No. Did you eat some of them? Yes. Okay, did you eat your jerky or your um, beef sauce, your sausage? All of it. All of it. What about your cheese cubes? Um, almost all of it. Almost all of it. Did you eat your chocolate chip cookie? Yes. Was it delicious? Yes. They were so soft. I ate they? it first. Of course you did, you little sneaker. Um, did you eat your yogurt? It's like a beat. There's a no, lot. not even one bite. Well, the good news is that at least it's not opened because he had a go-gurt in there. The bad news is it's going to be spoiled by the time we get your lunchbox back on Monday. Can you text my Yuck. Pizza? No. Was that all that was in there? Oh, no. You had cereal. Did you Cere eat your cereal? Yes. Alice. Was that good? Where'd you go? All right. I guess Alice is taking a turn. Yes. Say hi. 
So Twizzies are dessert and you put to eat the I ate all of them. Yeah, it's supposed to eat your food first, huh? And then the Twizzies. And then the cookies. Nope. I ate the cookies first. It's my view. <laughs> so that is a bit bad. Alright, you want to close it out and tell them thanks? Thanks, thanks for watching. Thanks.